Of the first few hauntings I investigated with Lockwood & Co, I intend to say little, in part to protect the identity of the victims, in part because of the gruesome nature of the incidents, but mainly because, in a variety of ingenious ways, we succeeded in messing them all up. There, I've admitted it. Not a single one of those early cases ended as neatly as we'd have wished. Yes, the mortal car was driven out, but only as far as Richmond Park, where even now it stalks by night amongst the silent trees. Yes, both the grey spectre of Oldgate and the entity known as the Clattering Bones were destroyed, but not before several further, and now I think, unnecessary deaths. And as to the creeping shadow that haunted young Mrs Andrews, to the impairment of her sanity and her hamline, wherever she may continue to wander in this world, poor thing. There, it follows us too. So it was not exactly an unblemished record that we took with us, Lockwood and I, when we walked up to the path of 62 Sheen Road on that misty autumn afternoon and briskly rang the bell.